Now I'm going to use the square drawing system on this beautiful German Shepherd. As you see, it's a lovely photograph. I've already put the one inch grid to divide it up. As you can see, it works out really well. The eyes are clear, the nose is clear. Now it's the eyes and the nose, which will be difficult here. So what I've done, I've divided them up, as you can see, in half inch squares, just over the eyes and over the nose. So what we have to do now is to put the half inch grid as we did with the portrait, on those tricky areas. And it's probably a good idea just to put a bit of tape on that to hold it. You don't have to do this. You can leave that free, the half inch, but I think it's sometimes a good idea just to hold it in place. Make sure I've got it right. There you go. There, that's not going to move now. So what we're going to do now is to draw it. So let's start with the ear. I've tucked that right over the ear, but I think I can still see it. Now, we know we come from here, okay, and we join up with what we've got down here. Now, I put lines in, but really what I tend to do this is do that. You can put a line in because you don't have to transfer it through to your uh, drawing. You can do that when it comes to the drawing. That's what I tend to do. Anyway, let's just continue with this. Now, we've got a little problem here. You can see I haven't got the tip of the ear. Uh, what do we do about that, Cole? Well, I'll show you what we do. Let's just draw that in so that we got that coming down to meet the other area like that. And then do the other side, which is the other side of that line there. Let's do that. It comes out a little bit and it comes not quite halfway there. And then let's continue that. See, it's really better if you don't have the half inch grid on, but you'll see you get the benefit of that in a minute or two. It just comes to come out there and we might as well complete that area now. This set area coming down here, I'm using the finger to point with so you can see what I'm doing. Comes out a little bit there, comes down there. You can always go back over this again once you've um, established it and check it out. And then we have the eye coming down here and then down around there. Now this is where the half inch grid comes in useful. You see that? Now we can see where we need to be in the half inch, which is there. And then it breaks away and comes out there. And then we've got the, the nose coming down. Uh, we might as well do that while we're here. Now you see that comes from that eye there, so it's there, like that, comes down, comes across here, watch my finger here at the same time, and over, and then it comes up to right onto that corner, which is handy, like that. So, now what do we do about this top ear? Well, you have to guess it. Now you can see that if you would do that, like that. That's how it would end up. So we just have to wing it like that. Okay, got it? That's the way we do that. Now you could say, well, why can't you put the other square in? Well, you could, but I wanted to show you how you can get away with something like that. Now there's also a another line which we need to put in there that comes down to there and then we've got another line here and this has come from from this bit here right so we come down here over there once you get used to square drawing you can speed up because it's not critical especially on the fur that it's absolutely spot on it's only the eyes and nose and those critical areas that you'll need to be careful with. And then we could just also do the inner ear. I won't bother with that. I think you can see it. But the important thing now is the eye. Now the eye is D, which is there. So it's six. And it's in that one there. That's where we've got to put it. So let's take a lot more care over this. It's right on the edge. You see that? And it comes down to about just a little over halfway there and then it cuts in now these are these eyes and all these features were, are much smaller than you think they are this is if you were freehand drawing now i guarantee you'd make that eye bigger 
and you, it wouldn't look right, folks, I can tell you. Because unless you get it right, uh, and, that, and then what I would also do with them is also bring, bring that shadow into play, like that. Now, is that smaller than you thought? I bet it is. Um, put a little light in the eye as well. And no, no need to do too much more than that. That's enough because when we use our, well, when I use my pastel pencils, I can. Now, we're just doing this little bit here, I think, as well, while I'm, I'm up in this vicinity. That comes right into that corner there and then joins up with that. There we are. Looks silly, but it's that's proportionally correct. Now, what about the nose? Come down the nose. This is another awkward, awkward shape. Now we come down right on that corner, you see, and then come in there like that. Got a little slight bump there, but it's not, you don't make it too obvious. And it comes around. Now we've got to get all of that in the square. Down like that, and in, into there like that. And we know it's correct because we ended up at the same place. And then down in here, like that. Now this line is in the wrong side, you see? Go, let's get rid of it. Take it out. Great thing about the graphite. Now, now we, we're going to make it right now. It comes down there, like that. And that comes right almost on that line, like that. Here we are. And uh, there's a little... That little bit there is interesting. Put it in like that. And then we've got the nostril that comes over the top here. And in and down in there. There we are. And if you want to put some of these shadows in, it's a good idea at this stage. You see that comes across there like that. And there's another one there. And there's a marking. My nice idea to put something like that in. Okay. So anyway, that's how it's done, folks. Now let me just fill that in. You don't have to do this, but it's sometimes a good idea just to see how this is all going to look. And that's how it's going to look. Now, just here, we've got another bit I haven't finished yet. So let me do that. Like that. There we are. Now that can be taken off because we've now finished off. That's then transferred to your drawing surface by means of the graphite, which you've seen before. I will to do that again. We've seen it done once. But whatever you're going to draw on, whether it's going to be a watercolour paper or engrais paper, in my case it would be engrais, uh, or acrylic or whatever. So that's the procedure with the German Shepherd. And now, something completely different, I'm going to show you how we tackle a landscape.